Hey everyone, welcome back to Someone's PC. Uh, I'm your host, Russell Lepar, and with me today is to your left, Chris Porco, to your right, Johnny Rabus. Underneath him is uh, Drew Bennett Kennett, and underneath Chris is his loyal substitute. Um, I think substitute's going to get his invite before Chris does. So, um, <laughs> we're going to have a great oh. weekend here. Uh, I honestly hit everyone up and I was like, yo, we got to rush a video because Brazil's uh, internationals is tomorrow. And I thought they were two hours behind us. It was no, they're two hours, like an hour or two hours ahead. So it's better to get the information out there right now. Um, hopefully Azul and Brad actually make their flight and get to the tournament in time. Yes, they delayed like... and they, they might have got blocked. Yeah. So um, I know what you guys are thinking. You don't really care about what we have to say. You just want to know what decks we think are good and what you should be playing for either Brazil or your League Cup this weekend. So in short... Everyone agrees Volcanion is kind of the safest play. Yes? Yeah. 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 Johnny? Yeah. 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 All right. Which one of us would actually play Volcanion besides Drew? I would. You would? I would. Yeah. Oh, child. I told you. I mean, I've no. been playing Volcanion oh, for months. God. It's so boring. I hate it. I hate it. I, I can't draw energy. I'm purged. Yeah, I can't draw energy either. Uh, like, the only time I saw people draw energy was when I watched Igor. Uh, draw energy with no no N and no uh, fisherman in his deck was it when he won their tournament? Oh God, no, that's ridiculous! Like he had three energy retrievals though, so all all good. Yeah. Okay, so um, everyone's top three decks that they expect to see, or the top three decks that you guys should be beating going into the tournament. I'll start. Um, Darkrai Turbo, Mega Rayquaza, Volcanion. I th I think enough Volcanion will scare off a little bit of Decidueye Plume. Um, and then the people who are only addicted to playing Sidgeride Plume are really, really love the concept of item locker. You're gonna be playing it. So, Drew, what do you think? Uh, Darkrai, um, Volcanion, and then the last one is um, oh, I just had it. Uh, Quad Lapras. Mm. I think Ooh. you have to beat those. Okay. Are there anything else? Interesting. Yeah, over anything else. Okay. I think the Sidgeride Plume won't be that popular. Uh, at all. Why quad just like you do, do you think in terms of like popularity, or do you actually believe in the deck strengths? I think um, I think the deck's really good, um, but I also think that a lot of people think it's really good, mm -hmm. and it's one of those things where we've seen a lot of Europeans pick up the deck, and like we don't know much about Brazil or anything, but we know that I I believe that some of the Europeans are probably going to play it, some of the ones that are going. So we'll see, but I also think that if you want to win the tournament, you will have to beat that deck. Okay. Um, would you go with Ben Pham's list? Have you seen his? Uh, I would go closer to the one Pram played for Utah. Okay. Um, but they're very similar. They're all very similar right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, max Elixir or no? Yes. Okay. Yes. Three or four max? Like, go go all out? I would play two. Okay. Because you only need a little bit of boost in your puzzles anyway. Exactly. Okay. Uh, Johnny, your three. Uh... I kind of go with you with the, the Mega Ray, Volcanion, and Turbo Dark. Mm -hmm. Just Volcanion won the last two big events, uh, last Air Nationals, and then, of course, the last Regionals. Turbo Dark Ray is always a solid play. And if Decidua Valplume all of a sudden sees a decrease in play, Mega Ray becomes a much better play. Okay. Makes sense. Um, Chris, what are your three? I'm going to go with uh, Turbo Dark, Volcanion, and uh, I'm going to go with Gardevoir. Just because... Uh... Don't... I mean, only like Brad and Pendy like that crap. Here we go. It's just... Uh, Let it begin. Some Someone has my cards, so I can't play it. Oh, ever. Ugh, okay. Um, so, if you guys had to go and play a deck, which one would you play? Uh, starting with Chris, and why is it Groudon? Oh, why is it Groudon? Yeah. <laughs> I like the concept of four lobs and sitting there and just like the the timers on your opponent. Like it's like if I get four energy on here, mm -hmm. like I'm taking four prizes. I and, really, like I really like Groudon too as a play. I think you don't check. I don't think you check it out enough though. We've already we've always disagreed with your list. Oh, I, I mean, I, I I dead draw with this, so I, I went with a higher consistency count than uh, four tech cards. Yeah. Bad. So I mean, Love it's. It's changed a lot since I wrote the article, yeah. so I should probably update that. But uh, some someone on uh, on Hey Fonte had posted, or it was Burbank that someone posted it with uh, they were using Lucky Helmet, mm -hmm. and uh, 
that's actually been really good in testing. So, lucky helmet Groudon. It's pretty good. It sounds really annoying to deal with. Yeah, it does. Uh, like, you're guaranteed four prizes with one Groudon. Yeah. Uh, Johnny, what would you be playing? I'd be playing Volcano. Okay. Any special tech? Mm, not really. I mean, I got the Salamance for Mega Ray. I might go to, like, a second parallel city if I'm seeing a lot of Mega Ray. Yeah. But nothing. nothing it, it's very hard to just tech out the list because mm -hmm. it's so straightforward. Yeah. And you can't really do too much without... Breaking like, the you have to have your, you yeah, have, you yeah, have you have your fire attack. Yeah, yeah, just, just take out 18 Fishermen and put in run 15 energy. Easy. I mean, I'm, not, yeah. I'm not playing Fisherman, you know that. Drew, I saw you grimace when he said Salamance. Do you not play it? Do you like no, Entei? no way. <laughs> I think that card's bad. I play Entei. I play Entei. Okay. Why Entei's Entei? Enough. Why not Salamance? Entei's, I literally Entei's saw Salamance eat, like, every, three Turbo Dark Rides on stream when I was commentating. And Turbo Dark Rides already a fine matchup. You don't need it. It is. That's you need cool. help against Mega Ray, and having an EX to kill their EXs is not what you want. Gotcha. You want the Entei. I also don't play Parallel, so... Angry. So you can't, yeah. Yeah, I'd be playing Umbreon Zoroark, two hundred percent. Um, I think even people listening to this video won't really care what I say or like what deck I'm gonna mention because, you know, no one likes to play those like crazy abstract ideas for a major tournament like this. So, I don't know. I think Umbreon Zoroark are extremely dirty, and then play a uh, Sableye AOR, and then that wins your Lapras matchup. Really juicy. Um, I actually expect to see some of those into Turbo Dark Ride decks. But it's just up to the person if they can actually, you know, find that spot as opposed to right. just playing another stadium. Because people right. like, oh, I would have that card if I have an Enhanced Hammer or Parallel City or X card in its place. Yeah. Um, what I have heard from uh, some people over in Brazil already mm -hmm. is that there's some talk of people playing Gyarados. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. So what's you're pretty... writing your article on on Tuesday? Yes, I'll have, yeah. <laughs> the Illama. The oh my gosh! Is that the flip a coin? God. Yeah, I played it. You did. You know, I played it. Oh my God, I saw him run it on the stream. It was it so. It beats Quad Lapras. It's so good against Quad Lapras. They just like collecting, and then they flip tails and they cry. Do they just lose from there? <laughs> Pretty much. Why do you not? Got, do you knock out a Lapras or? Yeah, you Kukui and knock out Lapras with Gyarados. Oh, but you can't Kukui that turn. Right, right. Yeah, but in, but in time. Mm. Right, exactly. Can we, pit, can we fit a Rattata? Yeah, probably. And then then you kill it that way? Yeah. All right. I like that better. Because you can draw six off of your Elmi, Elma, and then they draw three, right? Because that's, right. that's how it works. Right. Yeah, exactly. Or you draw five because you have Octillery, so it's no big deal. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right. Um, it was so savage. <laughs> I think most of our opinions are very close to what we said for Salt Lake City. Nothing yeah. changed. Yeah. It was just like, oh, hey, cool, Volcanion won. This got second. Kenny Britton's a beast. Another top for him. Missed four max yeah. elixirs game three, so obviously he's going to lose. He misplayed, you know? That's what yeah, he, he gets for not hitting a max elixir. He needs right, to go exactly. back and he needs to go he's back going crazy this year. Yeah, Stop misplaying. He's an angry individual. So, um, none of us mentioned Dark Ride Dragons. Is that still a good deck? Do you believe in it, Johnny? I do. Okay. I, I, I still do believe in it. It's, al it's always a solid play. It Whether you play the dragons or not is very meta-dependent, but... Darkrai itself is just stupidly strong, and it will always be within the top three considerations. Dark Pulse is unfair. It is. No, it, it's it's unlimited damage cap is always unfair. Yeah, at least on that level. Um, Drew or Chris, do you guys like Dark Dragons or anything, or would you rather just play Sogaleo? Well, yeah, that's the <laughs> option. <laughs> <laughs> we, we didn't talk about that option. Hold on. That's a good option, dude. It was a good option. It was a fun article, I, right? Because when I was testing the deck, I was like, this is busted. If they don't, if they don't have a response by turn two, you just win. <laughs> right. It's ridiculous. If there's, a hype, if there's a hype for Gyarados that Drew's talking about. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah. I agree. I think we'll see a lot a, a lot of stupid Vile Plume plus X variants like we've seen from some of the uh, European tournaments. And I don't mean stupid as in, like, it's a dumb deck. I mean stupid as in, like, it's out of nowhere and just kind of does, yeah. like... X control factor plus item lock, you know? Right. Like Umbreon, energy removal, Espeon, damage, uh, damage spread, blah, 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 blah. So. Vile Plume plus whatever their favorite Pokemon is. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah, why not? We're almost done with the video. So, last um, part. I mean, I don't, there's not much to discuss. This format's stale, dude. 
Like as soon as we're done yeah. with this video, yeah, we're gonna go, we, I mean, we're we're gonna go into a Roanoke this. video. We're gonna be like, hey guys, um, I think the meta is gonna be like this, and I'm playing X, like something this you guys already know about, something we've already seen on stream, something that yep. might have won sucks, blah 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 blah. So, um, what are you, what card are you guys looking forward to for Guardians Rising? Um, we'll start with Wait, who? Me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Anyone? Oh, I, I you just muted. No. <laughs> I don't even uh, come back to me. I forgot. I, I totally blanked on like what what I was excited Dude, about. Just say Tapu Lele. What the heck? <laughs> no man, it's basic. All right, it's Drew. Just, just back to me. Sylveon. That card's not fair. Damn, I really like it. Yeah. The card is busted. Super good. Um, I think that's the number one pickup for this weekend for me. Like outside of Tapu so, Lele, if if we go to a, a sneak preview, which I end up might going like might end up yeah. going to. Um, I'll be going 3 0 I bind. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> La -da. All right, uh, Johnny, do you have a number two behind Sylphion? Uh, Pokemon, because I know we Tapu, all want to play Field Blower. Tapu KK? The one that gets Tapu the supporter? Coco? Tapu Lele. Coco? Tapu Lele, Lele gets the supporter. Yeah. Yeah. Have you not okay, played Sun and Moon, Johnny? What's the lightning down? Uh, no, I haven't played Sun Moon. Mm, you betray your own, dude. You went, you, went the, you went the world's top eight. We, we haven't done that. None of us here have done that. That's your, that's yeah, that you. was on the moon. They went crazy with those. No, that's fine. Oh, uh, KK then, the, the lightning guy. Coco. Coco. Top of Coco. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of Zap Turn Dose. Back from... Yeah, like, good times. Oh five. Was it good? Oh, yeah. Oh. It was okay. It was good. Did it hit Zero. 80, which was busted back then or something? Uh, 70 turn 2. Ooh. And then you just start <laughs> rotating between them. That sounds beast. And then um, you, you just had super scoop ups and just kept picking them up, so you just denied prizes while just doing a consistent damage. Yeah. Mine's Garbodor. Hands down. <laughs> Forgot I'm, about that. I'm ready to punch some kids in the face for playing 4 Max Elixir. Yeah. Like, can, you, can you imagine if they Max Elixir and miss? It's like they threw a muscle band at you. Like, they just attached a muscle band in there. <laughs> like, hey, take this, man. Unlimited muscle band. Ugh. Yeah, that card's good, too. It really is. The problem is that the stadium doesn't help Psychic. Oh, two free retreat. Okay. Like, what am I supposed to do? Everything's dark. Everything resists me. <laughs> Hook, hook it up, man. What's like, the stadium? Um, the Altar of the Moon. Yeah, that thing. Uh, Dark Pokemon get... Dark and Psychic Pokemon get minus two retreat. Why Dark oh, Age really help? Good. I don't understand. Wow. I mean, oh, so remember when you needed to switch your Dark Ride? Now you just play the stadium, unlimited switches. Uh, they made that stadium before, so it's surprising to see it again. Yeah, it was what, Moonlight Moonlight Stadium. Yeah, except they made them zero instead of reduced by two. Yeah. But just that one's useful. Pretty you close. You can use it instantly, right? Yeah. Right. And then the other one is like, Fire and Metal Pokemon have no weakness. Okay. Yeah, it's like, and, and, it, and they're gonna wait. Throw, they're gonna field blower or replace me. Yo, yeah. hold up. So Galio's yeah. metal. Yes, we know this. They <laughs> 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 have a field blower. No, no, no one's playing that card. That card's bad. <laughs> <laughs> like if, if you were like, okay, nine tails. I'm like, all right, I'm with you, dog. What are we doing? What are we doing with this? How slowly are working? But no, it's bad. It's nice to get there. Um, Chris, do you have a new card? It was field blower, and then you mentioned it already. <laughs> Talk about Pokemon. Pokemon, dude. Come on. That's Pokemon. Pokemon. Yes. Pokemon. Who wants to play? Oh, who wants to play tools? Oh, I can't wait for Choice Man. Just like, stick with Tapu. That's not even coming out, is it? We don't know. Nah, I don't think it is. I'll need, stick with Tapu Lele. I need that hit conf uh, hit confirmation. Dude, not that sweet Lichen Rock. Mmm. That Lichen Rock is nice. It, it might it might be fun. Do you know what it does, though, Chris? It's second attack. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh. Wait, the second attack. Mm-hmm. You know its ability, what? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you don't know what it's, <laughs> it's attack does. I don't know what it is attack does. Um, I think the first one <laughs> is like 120 for 3 or something. Um, and then the second attack, the GX, is like 50 for every bench Pokemon your opponent has. So you just... Eh. Eh. Oh dang, I should have took a turn to Nader. Oh yeah, oh, that card's good too. This is so, like, I can't wait to write next month. Because yeah, there's gonna be so good, much ahead. juice. Like, mm. I'm over yeah, here scraping the nice. bottom of the barrel, and I'm like, please, guys. Like, this is, it's good, and it's, like, still, it's just, eh, sometimes. Because uh, I'm just going to keep playing Umbreon, and I can't write more about that, you know? Right. Nope. So, 
sometimes we are here. All right, guys. Um, it's only been 15 minutes. Pretty good video. Just, that was quick. Yeah, I like super, it. Super, super quick. Uh, format's pretty stale. Everyone's expecting what we just said we're expecting. Um, yeah, same shout things outs, as yeah. everywhere. <laughs> Shoutouts to uh, Ultimate Guard and the Fantastic Store for sponsoring us. Um, the Fantastic Store, we had an amazing tournament. Um, I know some of you guys have been messaging me and commenting about the VOD videos. Sadly, uh, we people don't running have, that um, the guy running the stream didn't click the, the archive thing where you save the and, VODs. And so now they're lost, they're lost, all in, they're lost on the internet somewhere. Lost forever. Yeah, it's pretty annoying. I really like those uh, the videos, especially when crack me cracking up when Christmas played. <laughs> I never get to see. It, it never uh, happened. That was a good one. But yeah. Um, Just have to wait till next time he plays. We have more tournaments coming from them. Uh, we are still buying bulk until we hit the million cap limit uh, for 20 cents per reverse hollow, hollow rare. And reverse hollow meaning any um, rarity. And then 6 cents per common and uncommon. Uh, they are vending at Roanoke Regionals, but we don't know if the rate's going to go down by that time, which kind of sucks. So, yeah. Um, other than that, shout out to Ultimate Guard. Always hooking us up. Always being a homie. Um, I'd also like to say congratulations to Rahul Reddy, Jimmy Pendarvis, Igor Costa, uh, Grafton Roll, and Ryan Sablehouse for being picked up by CCG Castle. I personally have spoken to the CCG Castle uh, company and ownership before and the social media guys on Facebook. I love them. And that entire, like, Ver... Ver... Verlicify? Verlicify? Whatever. The dude who basically, like, accused them of scamming and mapping their boxes and selling packs to people. Like, that guy. Um, him calling them out and doing all that uh, kind of hurt me personally because I've talked to them and they always seem like really, really chill dudes. And so it's having to see them in like a, a negative way like that for a false accusation yeah. in my eyes. Is false Crew battle coming up. Crew battles coming up. Oh, we actually want that to happen. So yeah. there is nothing of a foundation and this is based off of hope and me trying to hit up people for a venue to use in Indy. We're trying to do a team's tournament with um, someone's PC Six prizes, uh, CCG Castle, complexity, complexity right? um, one of the other European teams, and there's a couple more teams in the U.S. that I kind of wanted to get. Um, I know MTG Deals have their thing going on, and they no longer have Pokemon, but I'm pretty sure they still recognize each other as like a squad, and so I wouldn't mind them being like using it. Um, so we want to yep. kind of have it at the point where we're doing this and we're um, having like a tournament go on and a stream. And everyone sponsors and everything are all kind of together. We're going to have a, um, a prize pool and then probably make it $20 a person to play in the tournament. Um, three players going to the round, single elimination, two out of three. So, um, yeah, I can't wait. Hopefully I can make it happen. But uh, In the meantime, guys, take it easy. And thanks for logging to someone's PC. Thank you, guys. Yeah.